Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam tala. I'm over at the Nova Community College where there's always a table uh, at least once a week or every other week where there's a, a the Christian church or whatever they come by and uh, once we had a dialogue between uh, us and them where he brought the I guess it's called the Lord's Prayer and Al Fatiha and he compared them. I was wondering if you can uh, talk about that or if there's any sort of relation. I got a feeling you want to talk about that. <laughs> no, I don't, you know, I don't remember. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Is that the one? Not Lord my shepherd? No. Uh, Lord, um, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. I don't know, man. I forgot it. I haven't said it so, I said it so long. I don't know. What you want me to do? I don't know. I'll just say this um, in, in, in concluding words. Again, I, I don't want to disparage anyone in what, in what they believe. But I will say this about this, this Al-Fatiha, and then I conc conclude. The first chapter of the Quran must be important. It must be important because um, every prayer that a Muslim makes he has to recite the first chapter of the Qur'an, every prayer. Not only every prayer, but every unit, every raka'ah. He has to say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Yawm din until the very end. And in the end of it, it says, the one thing, and we say it every day, and I close with this. Our Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said that Allah, the Almighty, said, Ya ibadi, kulukun dolun illa man hadaytuhu, fastahduni ahdikum. O my servants, every one of you are misguided. Some of you, every one of you, most of you, every one of you are misguided unless I guide you, God. Therefore, ask me, and I will guide you. And so every day, Muslim prays 17 times a day. <laughs> Making supplication. Oh God, guide me to the straight path. One of our founding fathers of this nation, I forgot who it was. I think it was Thomas Jefferson, who talked about following the truth wherever it may lead us. How many of us have that kind of courage to follow the truth wherever it may lead you? 1969, I joined a group called the Nation of Islam, the same group that Malcolm X was part of. In 1975, I learned that what I had thought was the truth wasn't the truth. And I was blessed in 1975 to find this Islam, to find a belief and Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, and a belief in all the prophets. I asked Allah for guidance. Allah guided me. Thanks be to Allah. I still ask for Allah guidance today. And every one of us should ask for guidance. Don't become so comfortable in what we're doing as not to receive guidance. Follow the truth wherever it may lead you. May Allah bless all of you. Thank you for coming. Assalamu alaikum.